Uh, this video is to demonstrate the one of the standard methods of uh, creating dynamic data validations. Um, I'm also going to expand further on that and show you a more advanced method. Uh, what's going on in this document here is <clears throat> we have a daily task list um, at, a, let's say, a co-op co -op grocery uh, where we're either stocking vegetables or working a cash register. And then we have a, a list of we need to generate a list of team members to carry out each daily task. So right now, if I click on this uh, drop down here or this data validation, there's nothing in it. Um, the way a dynamic data val validation should work is if I type in the name of someone, um, say, type in another name here. Um, as I add to the list, uh, it creates potential more potential uh, drop down values. Uh, in all the adjacent or succeeding rows. So if I click here, now Tim and Dave are an option. I've already selected them as options. So if I had a third name here, now I have three options here, Tim, Dave, and Carl. Um, the problem with the traditional method here is I'm going to kind of un I'm going to unhide this column here. Uh, the traditional method uses uh, usually what's called a unique function. There are other ways of doing it, but one of the ways is to use a unique function. Uh, what that does is it basically looks for the um, each unique value um, within this particular array. You could use other arrays, but within this particular array. And then it just pulls it over here, right? And so you just go and say, um, you'd go and you'd pull the data validation menu, and you'd say that I want the, the particular range, let's say this range here, right? Oh, sorry, this range here. We want to pull the data from this range here um, as potential items to select and so that's essentially what's happening um, but the problem is once you delete these items let's say on the uh, second day uh, you have these people Tim Dave and Carl and they're not working that next day um, so when you go to the drop down menu now it's gone right everything's gone because the unique formula is pulling all the unique values and you know, there's nothing but blanks in this array so um, I actually have an, another method which I'll show you here on the left. And remember, this is just a demo. Um, I normally do this kind of work for hire. So <clears throat> if you're interested, um, you can um, check out my Upwork account, uh, my Upwork profile, and uh, hire hire me if there's something that you need to do. Um, anyways, over here on the left here, uh, I have the same essentially the same daily task list: vegetables, dried goods, register one, register two. Uh, and then if I select here and drop down, there's nothing there. Um, I'll type in Tim. Carl and Dave and let's say Edith and then uh, just like the other one they become options Tim Carl Dave Edith those four that I select that are already there <clears throat> but let's say the next day happens and I have a new group of people those names are still there um, I can even add other names beyond that John uh, Stephen Bill okay and as I add those names right they're all still there even if I delete these three Bill, Carl, Dave, they're all here okay and that's a nice because uh, you can continue to add to the list even if everything's been deleted um, I've also added some other functionality to this too there's actually a drop down function here um, remember this is just a demo I can always uh, customize, the, customize this for you as you need it um, I have a couple data val options here uh, that will run a script depending on what you select so um, I can have it say remove items not currently in the ar array below. Uh, essentially, what that would do is, let's say I have, um, I'm gonna put, I'll put Stephen and Carl, and then let's say I just put some random gibberish here. Uh, and what will happen is, if I if I type something in wrong or something random like this, and I select the drop down, now that that element here, this this uh, item becomes part of the drop down. We don't want that there. So what I did was, you can delete that. Thing that was incorrect and I can go to uh, remove items not currently in the array below so I select that and it'll run a uh, script there and then essentially it'll just leave these two items here just it'll just leave Steven and, Steve and Carl okay um, I did lose the other ones as well but um, I can always change it so that it pulls specific ones off um, I can also do another one where I can say remove items in the array below and clear all data validation that's another option so I select that It'll clear everything here, and it'll start from scratch. So you can just restart everything. So I can go back to 
Dave, Carl, Tim, oops, etc. And as I add those in, right, it adds to the validation. And as I delete them, they remain archived. 